three Olympian sons of Titans who battled the Titans long ago, the brothers Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Hades provided the means of defeating the Titans with his creation, the Kraken. After the Titans' defeat, Zeus created humans and ruled them while Poseidon ruled the sea, but Hades, having been deceived by Zeus, was forced to rule the underworld. Fisherman Spyros finds a coffin in the sea, inside baby Perseus and dead mum Danny. Spyros raises Perseus. One day, when Perseus and his family reach the city of Argos, they see King Cepheus' soldiers break the statue of their god Zeus. The human decides to stand against their gods while seeing to this Hades comes out from the underworld, he starts a massacre. Hades's monsters quickly kill the soldiers and in the attack Perseus's family sinks in the water. Perseus dives to save them but Fisherman asks him to leave and he sous Hades appears in the courtroom, convincing Zeus to teach humans a lesson. Zeus and Poseidon gain power from the prayers of humans, but Hades learns another way. Fear. Poseidon asks Zeus not to harm humans but Hades tells Zeus you need their prayers but I can remember them their place. Listening to this Zeus agrees and asks Hades to go and destroy Argos. The surviving soldiers take Perseus back to Argos. During a feast for the returning soldiers King Cepheus and Queen Cassiopeia of Argos compare themselves and their daughter, Andromeda, to the gods. Hades arrives the castle, and kills the remaining soldiers while Perseus is unaffected. Revealing Perseus to be the demigod son of Zeus, and aging Cassiopeia to death, Hades takes the beauty of Argos queen for her punishment and then he tell people of Argos that if Princess Andromeda is not sacrificed to the Kraken, Argos will be destroyed in ten days. Hermes, the messenger god, approaches Zeus on Olympus, revealing the location of his son Perseus. Hermes suggests offering Perseus sanctuary, but Zeus declares he shall be left to his fate, along with the other infidel mortals. Perseus is jailed as a demigod and is visited by Io, a woman who does not age as punishment for refusing to be seduced by a god. Io reveals Acrisius, former king of Argos rebelled against Zeus and Zeus transformed into Acrisius and had sex with his wife Danae. Acrisius put Danae and Perseus in a coffin, and an enraged Zeus struck Acrisius with lightning, leaving him hideously disfigured. Perseus agrees to kill Kraken as that will weaken Hades and the gods. He and Argos' finest soldiers embark on a quest to find the Stygian witches with a pair of Persian monster hunters named Ixus and Kuchik and follow. Hades visits Acrisius, now called Calibos and tells him that Perseus' son of Zeus from Danae lives. He also says that he wants to kill Zeus and wants Acrelius to help kill off Perseus. Hades imbues Calibos with superhuman powers. In the woods, Perseus and his men discover a sword forged in Olympus that will only display power if Perseus wields it. Zeus' sacred herd of flying horses, the Pegasus. However, Perseus refuses both the sword and the pure black Pegasus that the gods offer as assistance. The soldier's leader Draco keeps the sword while Pegasus follows them willfully. Calibos attacks the group and kills many but flees as he loses his hand. Calibos's blood forms giant scorpions from the sand that attack Perseus and his group. The few survivors are saved by the Jinn, a band of once-human desert sorcerers who have replaced their earthly flesh with ash and dark magic. The mysterious beings can hypnotize the scorpions into submission. Perseus decides to ask them for help, but Calibos' deadly venom spreads into his body and he faints. Jinn uses his power and heal Perseus' wound. Though not trusted before healing Perseus's wound, the Jinn leader, Sheikh Suleiman, joins Perseus's group. The Jinn want to see the gods' wish for destruction fail. The heroes arrive at the Garden of Stygia, learning from the Stygian witches that the head of the Gorgon Medusa could kill the Kraken, but that Perseus and his group will die in the process. Perseus is visited by Zeus who offers him asylum on Mount Olympus, but he refuses. Zeus gives him instead a golden drachma, which Perseus later learns is a means to bribe Charon for passage into the underworld. While Io remains outside Medusa's lair, due to a spell that forbids any woman from entering the area, Perseus' remaining soldiers fight hard to stay alive but are turned to stone one by one by her gaze. But with Suleiman's self-destructing and Draco's sacrifice, Perseus manages to behead Medusa. Perseus emerges to see Calibos kill Io by stabbing her from behind. Perseus engages Calibos in combat and kills him using the sword from Olympus, turning him back into Acrisius in human form. With his final breath as Hades's power leaves him, Acrisius tells Perseus to never become a god. Perseus stays with the dying Io until she passes on, then rides Pegasus back to Argos with Medusa's head to find some of Argos' citizens have formed a cult of Hades and are planning to sacrifice Andromeda to the Kraken against the king's wishes. By then, Hades reveals to Zeus the destruction of Argos will give him enough power to overthrow the other Olympians before leaving his powerless brother to ensure his victory. Perseus returns to Argos, but Hades sends his harpies to stop him. Perseus defeats the creatures sent by Hades and uses the head of Medusa to turn the Kraken into stone as Cepheus is killed by the cult leader, who is then crushed under the shattering Kraken. 
Hades appears and sneers that Perseus cannot kill him, since he is a god. Perseus retorts that while Hades can live forever, it will not be in the world of men and uses the sword to banish Hades back to the underworld. Because Perseus has saved Argos from destruction, Andromeda suggests that Perseus become king and rule Argos at her side, but he declines. Zeus appears before Perseus again and offers to make him a god, but for a second time, he refuses. Zeus warns Perseus that Hades will return to rule the world in darkness when he amasses enough fear from mankind. Since Perseus intends to stay on Earth, Zeus resurrects Io, and the two embrace while Pegasus flies above them. Ten years after he defeated the Kraken, Perseus, the demigod son of Zeus, now lives as a fisherman with his ten-year-old son, Helios. One night, Perseus is visited by Zeus, who tells him that the powers of the gods are fading and the walls of the underworld prison of Tartarus are breaking due to the lack of devotion from humans and states they will need the world's armies to combat the potential threat, but Perseus shows little interest and refuses to get involved. Afterwards, Zeus travels to Tartarus to meet with his brothers Hades and Poseidon, and his son Ares. He tells Hades they must forget the past and unite to rebuild Tartarus, but Hades orders his minions to attack. They severely injure Poseidon, and Ares betrays Zeus over showing Perseus more affection, taking him prisoner, and stealing his thunderbolt. The walls of Tartarus break, unleashing monsters into the world. After slaying a chimera that attacks his village, Perseus takes Helios to the Mount of Idols, so they can speak to Zeus, but the dying Poseidon arrives instead. He informs Perseus that Hades and Ares are holding Zeus in Tartarus, and tells him to meet with his demigod son Agnar to find the fallen god Hephaestus, who knows the way into Tartarus. Poseidon then gives Perseus his trident before succumbing to his injuries and crumbling into dust. Hades and Ares plan to drain Zeus' power to revive Kronos, the father of Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon, in exchange for the two to remain immortal. Perseus flies on Pegasus to the campsite of Queen Andromeda's army. Andromeda has imprisoned Agnar for stealing crown jewels, but Perseus has him released. Perseus, Andromeda, Agnar, and a group of soldiers set out at sea to find Hephaestus, with Agnar explaining that Hephaestus created the three great weapons that Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon wield. Zeus's thunderbolt, Hades' pitchfork, and Poseidon trident and that together they form the Spear of Trium, the only weapon that can defeat Kronos. Agnar uses Poseidon's trident to direct the boat to Hephaestus's island, where they encounter three Cyclops who attack them. When Perseus shows them the trident, they lead the group to Hephaestus, the smith god, stripped of much of his godly power after siding with Hades after he betrayed the Olympians ten years prior. He explains that he has a map to navigate the path into Tartarus. He leads them to the door into the labyrinth, where they are attacked by Ares after Carina prays to him. Ares kills most of the soldiers as well as Carina while Hephaestus opens the door before he sacrifices himself so that Perseus, Andromeda, and Agnar can enter the door before it closes. Agnar tries to use the map to direct them, but the labyrinth continually shifts and at one point nearly crushes them. Perseus gets cut off from the group and encounters and kills the Minotaur. Eventually, the group manages to reunite outside of Tartarus. Meanwhile, Zeus has been almost entirely drained of power as Kronos starts to awaken. Zeus apologizes to Hades and asks his forgiveness, as he has forgiven Hades for his actions. Hades has a change of heart and finally decides to help Zeus and stop Kronos, but Ares intervenes. Perseus arrives and uses the trident to free Zeus. As they are escaping, Ares throws Hades's pitchfork into Zeus's back. Perseus, Andromeda, Agnar and Hades carry a weakened Zeus down to the base of the mountain where Andromeda's army is gathered. Perseus combines the trident and Hades' pitchfork, but he still needs Zeus's thunderbolt, which Ares still has, to complete the spear. Perseus prays to Ares, challenging him to a fight at the Temple of Gods, which Ares accepts. At the temple, Perseus finds out Ares has kidnapped Helios, who was brought to watch Perseus die. Ares easily overpowers Perseus, but he is distracted when Helios tries to challenge him by pointing a sword at him, allowing Perseus to defeat him. Perseus then destroys Ares with Zeus's thunderbolt and combines the god's weapons into the Spear of Trium. Meanwhile, Andromeda's army is overwhelmed by Kronos' army of Mackay, but Hades arrives to revive Zeus and together they use what power they have left to defeat the army, who have murdered most of Andromeda's men. Kronos then appears and begins to attack them, from which Zeus and Hades defend them and at the same time allowing Perseus to fly right down Kronos' throat. Kronos lets out one last blast, and Zeus takes the brunt of the force to protect Hades. Perseus throws the spear of Trium into Kronos' stomach, destroying him once and for all. Perseus meets with Zeus and Hades. Zeus commends Perseus for his courage, stating that the time of the gods is over before turning to dust. Hades is now mortal, though he states he might be better off as such before walking away. Perseus reunites with Andromeda and kisses her. Knowing that there are still titans to battle, Perseus decides to train Helios to be a soldier. 
make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more videos like this.